Well, today there were growing concerns over the eight dolphins that died after washing ashore in Seattle City yesterday. Experts are now working to determine how they died. Action reporter Trish Hartman live in Seattle City with that story tonight. Trish. Well, Rick, so many people who live down here at the Jersey Shore, they treasure the natural beauty and the wildlife. So when a mass stranding like this happens, it's definitely concerning and people want some answers. The images are heartbreaking. Eight common dolphins on the beach yesterday in Sea Isle City. People tried to help them with towels and buckets of water. There was probably 50 dolphins just going back and forth all morning. And the next thing you know, we saw some coming straight in. They washed up sometime before 11 a.m. between 50th and 52nd streets. Officials with the Marine Mammal Stranding Center say two were dead. The other six were deteriorating quickly and were euthanized to prevent further suffering. It's been a very busy winter for strandings at the shore. You hear every now and then where a beach would come up, but nothing like this past winter. Nancy Valerio and many others wonder if offshore wind development is to blame. Energy company Orsted says it recently completed survey work in January off the coast of New Jersey and doesn't have any site investigations happening now. An Orsted official said today, quote, the completed surveys did not involve sounds or actions that would harm whales or other marine mammals and Orsted contracted vessels have not experienced any whale strikes during offshore survey activity in the U.S. So far this year, there have been seven whale strandings in New Jersey. That's more than all of 2022 and all of 2021. There have been 23 dolphin and porpoise strandings so far this year, and all of last year, there were 45. Marine life experts have said there are many possible explanations for the deaths, boat strikes, entanglements, and disease. Some politicians continue to call for a moratorium on offshore wind projects. NOAA has said there's no evidence linking the deaths to survey activities happening happening at wind farm sites, but the deaths are being studied as they're reported. And we also reached out to Atlantic Shores Offshore Wind, which has a planned project off, off the coast of Atlantic City. We didn't hear back from them today. We do have an interactive map that shows you all the recent strandings of whales and dolphins at the Jersey Shore. You can find that interactive map at 6abc.com slash links. Reporting live in Seattle City, New Jersey, Trish Hartman, Channel 6, Action News. Rick. Trish, thank you. Starbucks.